Well, here's hoping I don't cut the top of my head off again. Because, you know, I'm having a fairly decent hair day. Am I down here? What if I squinch? I'll talk like this. Okay. Well, it's now November. Finally. The CD's out. It's out. I'll have no idea until like three months from now if it's doing anything. If there's any mad rush to go buy it, download it. God. That pretty much sums up why I'm done <laughs> with everything. Excuse me while I straighten up. That's my equivalent of housework. Um, you know why I'm done. Yawn. Uh, it's just been a long, long 35 years. Collectively. I mean, I did take some time. Um, really after 95, after the of 95 and Onward, when I no longer was seeking the record deal, the manager, the agent, the publisher. I went for them all, you know. I didn't just myopically follow a record deal. The only thing I didn't do during those professional pushing periods was seek out any acting roles. I, I shelved that, figuring if I were going to act you know, it would come after the fact, you know. Uh, yet another musician who wants to act, but see, I would have been an actor who turned, who switched uh, focuses to musician, writer, songwriter, but, you know, roots are always acting, so you see, it wouldn't have been just like grand delusions, or delusions of grand, you know. So, but anyway, uh, the other V-blog got like 420 views, which was cool. Mostly from countries that don't speak English. So I, I, I you know, don't know if, if there's a translation bar. If you can put, tra you know, uh, uh, subtitles. If that's, if that's the case, that's very cool. I'm very happy for that. Or if, if, if people are fluent in English in Vietnam. Awesome, you know, and hello to all my viewers in Vietnam and in India, Indonesia. Uh, gosh, I mean, really, I can say hello to the world. I've been, as stated in the previous one, very thrilled at the views that the videos got. Um, the video for, uh, what's the name of this? <laughs> I've been having that trouble with these last two albums. Like, I'll think that the name is... the heck did I call it? Oh, yeah. I do... I don't... I don't... I don't have an in-between. No. I don't have an in-between launched uh, a few days before the release. And it's averaging a thousand views a day. So by today, it should be pushing 6,000 views. Um, I'll cease the promotion when it hits the respectable. See, it's so funny, because in the old days, before AdWords, I thought a couple hundred views was, and I'd stop a promotion then. But now it's like I'm, I'm spoiled by getting 12,000, 10,000, 16,000 views for, for, the, for other videos. So now I'm like, well, you know, respectable would be 15, 14, 15,000. Oh, yeah, that's respectable for me, you know. Little old me. But to me, it's where they come from. That's really what's important. You know, that if it was all wherever I've lived, Mass of Florida or New York, I would be, well, you know, it's lots of people I know watching it lots of times, but this is everywhere. In fact, the United States hardly registers um, as a whole with these, with these videos, yet with sales, uh, the U.S. has been number one with the uh, downloads from Spotify. Um, this year, it looks like Great Britain will be two. As far as the top CD 
uh, will be the old standby 211, which has both the Born at Night and All That's Left is All That Remains CD combined on a special 18 song download. But that's been cherry picked to death, and I love it. Believe me, I'm so happy those songs are, are resonating. And the number one song of all, all the songs out there will be uh, uh, Looks Like the Weird Old Musician Who Lives Across the Street um, from Born at Night. So I, I'm pretty excited that that's still doing well. Uh, number two, looks like it'll be Rest of the Best Of. That's been uh, uh, kicking up more and more as the years go by. And then the third will be, uh, I still believe, the best of Paul Tate, tied with Full 88. So far they've gotten uh, the same number of significant downloads. Now, I don't, these aren't individual sales of the whole album. They're based on how many songs from each are pulled. And then I go and I see what songs of all have been have been uh, the most, and again, right now it's the weird old musician who lives across the street is is the number one for Paul Tate uh, song and two on one the CD. Um, that's that's really it for music. Um, I finished the next book or volume of poetry. I guess I can't really call it a book since there's only 60 in them, as per my research told me to put. First four volumes, 60. Then major big project, which I'll get into someday uh, talking about, if I live long enough to do it. But the, uh, the next book is going to be called Markings in the Cave. I may right now flash up a picture of the cover yes big picture of me with type my yet so what self-promotion right and all the poems are culled from a notebook called markings in the cave that i wrote in 1983 so this is 32 year old poetry but it's never been published and I was surprised at how really good it all is. I wasn't surprised. Who am I kidding? I always knew I was good. I just never... I could never trust myself to publish. And still to this day, I'm not completely solid on what's good and what isn't. I make snap decisions on, oh, I like that. And I'll trans... type it into the computer. And later I'll go back and maybe, oh, well, you know, that phrase, okay, well, I'll change this, you know, and I'll make, make up re revisions. So, yes, indeed, I do do that. I don't just splat things out and leave them as is, as I've been accused of in the past. Uh, <laughs> there are people who think poetry is one thing. And there are people who think it's another. Lately, apparently, the modern poetry I've read uh, is the, the trend is not to rhyme. No one wants to rhyme. I guess that's like two roses are red, violets are blue for people. But I rhyme. And somebody criticized me uh, for Stray Lines, the previous book about annoying rhymes. And I wanted to write them, but I didn't, saying, well, well, poetry traditionally rhymes, doesn't it? You know, at least mine does. And they, they chalk it all up to me being a lyrist, because I'm a songwriter, so I must, uh, you know, maybe there's some smack of illegitimacy about it, because, you know, they're really song lyrics that just weren't put to music. No. <laughs> um, there's a distinct difference to what I write when it's a, when I know when I know it's going to be a poem. See, they write themselves. I just start writing, and when I know it's not going to be a song lyric, well, you know, then then I know it's not going to be a song lyric. Simple as that. Whatever. So that I I I've finished 
compiling and then now the process is to do that, go through each one of them and make sure there aren't any embarrassing things in there or blatant goofs in usage. See, some poets don't care about that usage, and sometimes I don't. You know, for the sake of a piece, I'll, I'll break a grammatical rule or something, but I try to be. You know, yeah, I know I'm shaking the camera a lot doing this. <laughs> so fragile, this whole setup. I'm not on a tripod. This is actually resting on a Kleenex box and one, two, three, four books. Because I'm too damn lazy to get the tripod out. Again, it's that yawn factor. <sighs> That's exactly how I feel about things. Oh, and Pandora Internet Radio has completely refused to play. Everything is subject to change. Apparently, I submitted it as a pre-order. I figured once I had the link to iTunes, even as a pre-order, I could get them rolling on it because they usually take forever, uh, as I've stated before, uh, to approve. Within a day, they refused me. And I wrote support saying that they couldn't have possibly listened to it. This has to be because of pre-order. Because I didn't even know pre-orders weren't, weren't even considered until said support. We've been talking about something else. They said, oh, you know, pre-orders aren't even considered. I thought I'd at least have an opportunity to resubmit. But no, they just flatly refused it. So that means all that's getting played on Pandora. And believe me, I'm happy. I have 18 songs from the two-on-one album, which may account for why it's getting so many downloads opposed to other CD collections and albums. Um, right now, Symptom of My Slothing from the All That's Left Is All That Remains collection is, is the number one song for the week. Uh, Tap Into The Beat is number two. But those 18 songs are all on Pandora. So maybe I've saturated. They figure 18 songs from Paul Tate's enough. Whatever. There are other radio stations out there, and that's the next musically related thing to do, is to get songs from Escape, or ESC, as I like to call it. Everything's subject to change. Because uh, that's what it is. You know, that's what what sold me on the name of the album because it was going to be so many different things it was going to be some crazy stuff it was going to be force of will and then i realized when i came stumbled on everything is subject to change which was strictly because it's so different from full 88 i realized the acronym for that was esc which is on a standard computer keyboard the escape button and since it's my last cd ever it's appropriate that it is escape. So that's the uh, thing, you know, to do. And I'm going to sneeze. So I'll bid you farewell and have a nice whatever until the next V-blog. <laughs>